I looked down at Kessler, reveling in my victory. And then I heard him whisper, Trish, I love you. Please forgive me. Then he was on me, fingers digging into my face. As Kessler's secrets played out in my head, I finally began to understand. I saw his nemesis, a beast intent on extinguishing all life. In those early days, Kessler could have used his powers to stop it, but instead he fled with his family, leaving others to fend for themselves. Hunted for years, Kessler and his family watched as the rest of the world went to hell. And then it was too late, too late to fight, too late to save anyone. In that moment of failure and grief, he used his newest and most dangerous power. He went on a one-way trip back in time, attempting to rewrite history. Kessler seized control of the First Sons and accelerated the race sphere's development. Decades spent plotting the blast, organizing the quarantine, finding me. Yet the thing that drove him forward, Kessler's sole link to the past, was a picture from his wedding day when he married Trish with Zeke as his best man. My brain lurched, unable to accept that Kessler and I were the same person, that he'd come back in time to mold me into the savior he failed to be, going so far as to kill the woman he loved, I loved, so that I wouldn't be tied down by emotions. No. Kessler wanted me strong, ruthless, so that when I faced the beast, I'd be capable of making impossible decisions, all for the common good. And then Kessler fell back, dead. His final message, my final message, burned into my brain. I take one last look down at myself, my future self, and turn away, the rage curdling inside. I hate everything about Kessler, but when the time comes, I will be rich. <laughs> because of me, Empire City is a wasteland. I've taken this place down notch by notch, and it's never getting up again. Kessler thought he was preparing me to face some beast, but I'd be using my powers for the greater good. What an idiot. These powers are only good for one thing. Letting me take what I want, when I want. In a place with no law, the strong take what they want, and the weak are their slaves, their playthings. And no one is stronger than me. I thought this would be the end. That once Kessler and the race sphere were gone, my life would go back to normal. But now I understand that this is my life, that there's no going back, that the gift of these powers will be my burden until the day I die. The people around here, they love me. How long will that last? What's going to happen the first time they expect me to be there for them and I'm not? I don't even know who to trust. Moya is still running around, planning God knows what. And Zeke, I don't know what to think. I've never been more alone.